Newport News is really evolving and become a city of technology. And one of the things that we're excited about and really proud of is the Brooks Crossing Innovation and Opportunity Center. People have been driving down Jefferson Avenue, coming off of 664, wondering what is going on in this four-story building. Brooks Crossing Innovation Lab is free and open to the public thanks to investments by the City of Newport News, Newport News Shipbuilding, and Old Dominion University. The opportunities are endless. And it's really important for our children of the 21st century and adults to really learn about STEM. Um, the iLab is an opportunity for them to come and get hands-on experience about what it really is like to work in the STEM field. The lab has 22 laptops that individuals are free to use when they come into Brooks Crossing Innovation Lab. And not only that, but those laptops are already loaded with good design type software so that they can design their products. A lot of fun toys here at Brooks Crossing Innovation Lab. Um, the first one being 3D printing. So not only will individuals have an opportunity to come and learn about 3D printing in general, they'll also learn how to design objects. We also have laser cutting. Laser cutting is a good manufacturing type machine that can be used to develop various products. We have vinyl cutters. Vinyl cutters are really good for doing t-shirt screen prints. In addition to that, we have a mixed reality space. And then we have a wood shop. We have three CNC machines. I'm a Newport News resident, and I was about to open up a business, uh, Gail's Eyes Photos, and someone told me about the Innovative Lab, and I drove down. A young man was sharing his knowledge about the shop bot. I came back the next day, and he gave me a one-on-one -on -one class on designing my sign, and voila, um, I had my sign. This room that we are in right now is the recording studio. Individuals will have an opportunity to come in and learn the actual equipment. We have um, individuals that will work with them and help them get through the recording process. Everybody really just coming together to make this work. And so it's exciting to me to see this place emerge right here so people can have walker-friendly job training. The people are here to help you achieve your dreams. Some of the things we're trying to do with our participants is making sure that they have all the certifications they need, don't have a GED, need a GED, basic computer skills, uh, PowerPoint presentations, resume building. So when we hand them off to an employer, we feel like they're qualified. We have persons who have gotten jobs at the wage of $10 an hour with benefits as high as $24 an hour. What we have been able to do is get support from a lot of the employers to say, if you bring us a candidate that you trained uh, we will give an opportunity to work. The sessions and the resources here at the Brooks Cross and Innovation Center are free and open to the public. If you have a dream, you've set goals to do better this year, or maybe you didn't believe in yourself, you want to come here, this is the place to be. I love it. They do a lot of great things from babies all the way to veterans. They have about 22 programs. Uh, that goes from Head Start four-year-old programs, they help teen moms, they help uh, individuals that come out of incarceration, the re-entry program. They really focus on the individual to make the individual a stronger, more self-sufficient person because I was homeless at one time. Now I have my own place through HR CAP and different individuals that show me, you know, point you in the right direction to get you help. It gave me opportunity to know what it's like when you work in a real workforce. Yeah. I mean, it felt good to have a job. You know, I never had one, so it felt really good to see that one one hundred and eighty four dollars in my um, bank account. So it was good. Uh, I'm I'm a computer whiz now. I rather do computer stuff now. We have programs here that address social entrepreneurism which addresses not only starting a business, but also involves starting a business that will make a difference. I have two granddaughters that come here and they do the entrepreneurship class. 
It's stimulating the, I guess, the, the creative side of their brain. By the time they get off the bus, she's running to the house saying, it's time to go, it's time to go to, the, to, the, to, to Onatiba's on class. <laughs> um, like, I'm retired and I'm still learning. Free. <laughs> this is the place that we want people to come and they can come and feel welcome and know that they have opportunity here and that when they leave here, they will have a skill, a skill set that they can go out into the world and have quality of life. That's what's so important for us to make sure that people understand that this is a building for the community. Lives are changing every day at the Brooks Crossing Innovation and Opportunity Center. It's time to change yours too.